Don't buy the lie. Abortion does not solve problems. Outside one of Louisiana's few remaining abortion clinics, a protester urges women to make a different choice. The state's laws are among the most restrictive. Public funding is only available in cases of rape or incest. Women must receive counseling, discouraging them from the procedure, and minors need parental consent. The case now before the Supreme Court could make abortions in Louisiana harder, forcing clinics to get admitting privileges to a hospital within 50 kilometers of their practice, a move critics say would force most to close. It's very concerning in that, uh, that the Supreme Court took this case up at all. Carissa Haugerberg studies women's health and says Louisiana is trying to undermine a ruling known as Roe v. Wade that made abortion legal in 1973. Rather than overturn Roe v. Wade, which at one time seemed so insurmountable, um, kill it by death through a thousand cuts. And so these are medically unnecessary regulations that have the effect of closing abortion clinics. Other states are enacting similar so-called heartbeat laws, emboldened by the appointment of two conservative judges to the Supreme Court. Anti-abortion rights groups are hopeful the tide is turning in their direction. It's hard to be confident sometimes when we see the toll that abortion is having in our nation. But we believe that our country is going to right its wrongs, as it's done in the past, and give rights to the weakest and the least among us, which is the unborn child. When we're working on criminal justice or whether it's reproductive rights. Or Organizations rights. like the American Civil Liberties Union say legal abortion is now hanging by a thread, and it's the least advantaged that may suffer. It is young people, poor people, uh, immigrant people, people who are in this country lawfully but just don't have means that are going to be limited in their opportunity to exercise their constitutional rights. Many of the current laws are aimed at protecting the health and safety of women, but with a conservative majority in the Supreme Court, a decision in this state's favor will have far-reaching consequences. If the Supreme Court backs Louisiana's even more restrictive abortion laws, this is likely to become the seventh state with just one clinic. Pro-abortion rights groups fear it may even lead to a direct challenge of Roe v. Wade. Anti-abortion rights activists are more hopeful than ever that abortion may now be banned across the entire country. The stakes then couldn't be higher. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, New Orleans, Louisiana.